Falls Police Department and Wichita County DA's office announced James Staley III has been arrested and charged with first-degree murder in the death of Jason Wilder McDaniel. As Melanie reports, this is a bittersweet day for law enforcement, for the community, and of course for Wilder's family. Only three days away from the anniversary in his untimely death. James Staley was arrested at 10.20 a.m. this morning at his residence in Okmulgee, Oklahoma. A major development brings law enforcement one step closer in getting justice for Wilder. He was arrested on a first-degree murder warrant for the October 11, 2018 death of Jason Wilder McDaniel. According to the Wichita Falls Police Chief Manuel Borrego, Staley is currently being held without bond at the Okmulgee County Criminal Justice Authority and will await his extradition back to Wichita County. In the meantime, authorities want to make this clear. We do not do our investigations based on motion. They have to be on facts and the evidence is presented. While it looked like, um, you know, the public, that it was a slow investigation or nothing was going on, we were all diligently working um, behind the scenes to build this case. District Attorney John Gillespie says new findings from Dr. Suzanne Daigill, a certified child abuse pediatrician in Dallas County, was what this case needed to come to a head. After Wilder's autopsy report was ruled, while suspicious of homicide, undetermined. Dr. Daigle's evidence helped us with both the um, cause and manner of death and also helped tie that, that together. This is the news Wilder's parents, Amber and Bubba McDaniel, so desperately needed to hear. You know, you've been fighting long enough for it and trying to, trying to get them to say those words to you when it's actually said to you, it's kind of surreal. Nothing will ever bring Wilder back, and that's the hardest part of all this. But it is one step closer, and I know this fight has just started, and we do have a long ways to go. For others in this community, emotions like that of Drink and Clink owner Brenna Polod, who's raising money to go towards a special room dedicated for Wilder at the Oklahoma City Nursery Crisis Center, are a mixture of apprehension and newfound hope. It's joy, <laughs> a little bit of joy, um, a little bit of nervousness because so much has gone wrong. And I don't want anything else to go wrong for Amber, but a lot of joy. There's never been a ray of light at the end of the tunnel for a while now, and there's, there's a gleam now. Just hug your babies, <laughs> take those pictures, play with them, and just <laughs> always know who you have around your children. <laughs> That was Melanie reporting. To learn more about this weekend's Big Justice for Wilder fundraising event by Drinking Clink and others, you can click on this story over at TexomasHomePage.com.